All right. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakwadash, double NSP and three apostles, and here is a great millstone. So, all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMSRA.com. Just remember a quick edification. She is praised and probably most I have, Bashem, Yahushai. Manification today is entitled Fuel and Garments Rolled in Blood. Fuel and garments rolled in blood. And more or less the um the inspiration of this um it came from Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. Um where overall it speaks about World War Three. So the lesson itself will be going into World War Three and you know the events that'll be happening during World War Three where a lot of you um, Israelites will be burnt up. Um, Edom is going to be burnt up, and lots of these other nations as well is going to be burnt up. You know, and when they try to fight against the Lord of Habashim Shai during his appearing, and all these missiles and all these nukes that these other nations will have developed, it was through the will of the Messiah Yahweh Habashim Shai. And they didn't do it through their own will. But it was just be it was done to, to, to fulfill prophecy overall. So I started with Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yeah, because when you look through history and all the wars that was fought, they never fought the wars with nuclear missiles. You know, it was always with, um, you know, guns, grenades, um, physical men going over to a country, drones. But, you know, two war, as the scripture will have roughly, well, I'm roughly paraphrasing from the scripture, two wars will have passed for the third one coming quickly and that that third woe is what they are speaking about in Isaiah chapter 9 and 5 here and you know this this Edomite who they praise all the time Einstein you will have said that if ever um the next war if, if ever it have a next war um and if fight it with nuclear missiles that the next the next war that we fought will be sticks and stones because this place is going to be utterly destroyed, you know, consumed with fire. You know, and, and this will be vengeance of the Lord of Hama um, you know, based on his promise that he'll never flood the earth again. Uh, he'll surely destroy it with fire, you know. And those are the days ahead. You know, those are the prophecies ahead, destruction of this place, and it's going to be done in a in a in a great fashion and as well the chariots of the lord they have washing machine would be sending out their own weapons and their own beams as well you know to be destroying one beam to take up the hopefully lack of the lord they have washing machine and scenes the other beam to destroy so there is a time coming where, you know, they're going to be fighting with fuel. And those fuel is going to boot up. A lot of you two tits. Um, Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 1 to 5, it says, Come near, ye nations, and hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein the word and all things that come from it. For the indignation of the Lord Shai is upon all nations, and its fury upon all their armies. He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountain shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. 
and the heaven shall be ruled together as a scroll. And they're talking about that nuke when it hit. That mushroom cloud. And all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth or from the vine, and as a fallen fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse, the judgment. And Idumia goes back to Edom. And that sword goes back to those nukes that the, the Mosai of Hashemesha is going to use to cleanse this world, to destroy this world, to destroy Edom, Idumia, who is Idumia, and, and even two thirds of our own people. You know? He made these things, he made this weapon for himself. He commanded it. Isaiah chap um, Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 16. It says, Thy terrible is had deceived thee, and the pride of thy heart, thou that dwellest in the rocks or the crepts of the rocks. That holdeth the height of the hill, do thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from hence, said the Lord the Habashemeshai. Also Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss as all the plagues thereof. And the plagues that is going to come and destroy Edom would be those nukes. They are considered a plague, a, a, a trashing instrument. And it's going to destroy Edom. And everything that he will have built, according to Revelation, in one hour, in one hour, destruction is going to come. Where, where these missiles, these nukes, was, it's going to be destroyed. It's going to destroy Babylon the Great. Who is spiritually America? Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 13. It says, For strong in this, for strong. Is his right hand that bended the bow, his arrow that he shooted a shaft, and shall not miss when they begin to shoot into the ends of the wheel. And that 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 arrow they're talking about is those nuclear missiles. Hey, they will not miss their target. They will not miss Babylon the Great in one hour. Torment and destruction. Everyone is going to stand by and watch in astonishment as that great city that was once great become great no more. Where all the merchants used to run to to do their business, it will no longer exist. It will cease to exist. And Edomite, and you Edomite, your, your, your prize, your prize, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed from the Lord of Hashem You know, set you up to be destroyed. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. It says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand. Upon their feet and their eyes shall and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And when you go back in how that's gonna happen, that's when those nicks are gonna hit, you're gonna be consumed where you stand, and those those, those beams on the chariots of the Mosiah Basha Mishai. It's going to consume your eyes. It's going to consume your tongue. It's going to burn you up totally. Thus said the Lord, how much shall we shine? 
it's going to be a great slaughter. It's going to be a great day of mourning and slaughter. And that's one way that the Lord of Hashemeshai, that's one tool that he uses to cleanse it. You know? Total destruction. As I would say, annihilation. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. says, Behold, I have created a smith that blew the coals in a fire and bring it forth an instrument for his work. And I have created a waster to destroy. And that smith that the Moses of Hashem Rishai will have created are all those scientists who created those nukes. He created those and gave them the knowledge and the understanding to create those nukes to destroy them oneself. Never did us. No weapon that form against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord the Hav Ashimishai, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord the Hav Ashimishai. Now hopefully the hopeful will be hopefully like of the Musa of Ashimishai be saved. The saints of the Musa of Ashimishai. Right, two thirds of our people, you are the nations, you blasphemers, you adulterers, you idolaters, you thieves, you murderers, and you're gonna be you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be destroyed in our lake of fire. You're gonna be cleansed. You know. So I hope it was satisfying to you. You know, with that I wanna give all praise to the Musa Ha Basham Ishai, Basham Makakwarash. He double arms beyond the apostles and there is a great millstone toward the archams worldwide. He shall have one beyond you. This is the word from the GMS channel. Shall have one to the hopeful elect. Shall have one.